Hey guys, going out with Fish in the North here today. We are going smelt fishing, and the weather just took a turn for the worse, but that could be good because we, less people might be going out. So uh, let's go get them. <laughs> let's go get them! <laughs> Alright, I might even use that money, so that's hilarious. <laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome to another episode of Fish in the North. Today we got a pretty sick one for you guys. This is a special event. Only happens once a year. We're going smelt fishing. It's going to be pretty sick. We're going to catch hopefully a lot of them. We went out uh, scoping last night yep. um, and it was cold and miserable. And Not very many. Was out. Yeah. Nobody was out. No one was out. Also, check out uh, JSC Outdoors. This is my buddy Jeremy. He's been in a couple of my videos before actually. He's uh, just starting up his own channel, um, so he's going to be tagging along and making a video as well. So follow him and check out his video to uh, see his take on how tonight went. But right now we're packing up the truck and we are going to head out and uh, get down to the river. See if those smelts are running even better than last night, because last night the rivers were kind of high. So that could have had a bit of an impact on it. We're going to pack up the truck and we'll catch up with you guys once we're back at the river. All right, we're walking on the way down. There's 11 cars here, or uh, 10 cars here, including myself. It's raining now, so hopefully some people will leave. That'd be all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is that? I don't know. It is a caddis fly larva. What's up, buddy? It's either a caddis or a dragonfly. One of the two. Oh, and it has a... Yeah, it's a dragonfly larva. Cool. Very cool. About to go get eaten by something else. Probably a smelt would honestly eat that. A big one, yeah. You gonna fish the bridge here? Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna go across real quick. What's that? Yeah, well, I've only got about a dozen here. They were coming through a lot stronger last night. Yeah, I'd say the run's definitely tapering off. What, oh. What a guy. I didn't have enough hands. <laughs> oh, there's a bunch down there. Oh, there's one. Hello. Yoink. I'm gonna go late to it again. Oh, there's one. I lied. Oh, there's another one. Lost him. There he is. It must have detected a little bit of change in flow and came up in here or something. Alright guys, we just made the switch to a different body of water. Yeah, this one is gonna remain unnamed for sure because check this out i don't know how well you guys can see this there are smelt literally everywhere everywhere they're spawning in all these rocks 
What? Crashane, okay, hold up. I'm coming, bro. Don't don't swoop them. Don't swoop them. We just got out here, and there are so many smelt. It's insane. Look at all of them. Oh my gosh! In these rocks. Here, I'm gonna show you guys underwater. This is gonna be insane. My hands are gonna get freaking so cold. Like, ready? Look at these guys here. Ah, oh, where'd they go? Yeah, there. Crazy. Just crazy. And the mic's probably crappy now. Like, look at that! Wow! See all those? Holy cow, guys. There's like... Oh! <laughs> Jeremy. There's like 50 right here in this one spot. Look at this, you guys. I'm gonna try and get some underwater footage. Like, insane. There's a ton up there. A ton. I'm gonna get to fishing though. They're like at my feet. Look at all them at my feet. Crazy. All right guys, so we're just at Dollarama and we are buying some scissors. We just woke up. Yeah, we just woke up. It's like three in the afternoon. We were up till like 4 a.m. last night. But there's all these different kinds of scissors you can get and we're going for the ones with a bit longer uh, length and they're also pretty narrow so that you can pierce through the belly really well. Yep, slice and dice. Slice and dice, as easy as possible. So we got those, we're gonna get the Doritos for the batter and uh, we'll catch up with you guys back at the house. All right guys, so it's the next morning. We got our pile of smelts here. We went to Dollarama, we got our scissors, got our gloves, we got our paper towel. Jeremy's trying to figure out his GoPro right now. It's giving him a little bit of trouble. And we're gonna dig in, we're gonna get ready. Uh, we're gonna cut all these bad boys up and then hopefully soon enough we'll be munching on some. We got the Doritos here too. We're gonna try smashing them up and using the Doritos as batter. Should be pretty tasty. All right guys, so this is how you uh, fillet a smelt, like the quick and easy way. So I'm gonna get Kirsten to come over and I'll show you up close. So this is a smelt and what you're going to do is you're just going to insert the scissors and cut up the belly, if I can do that. Cut up the belly. Then you're just going to cut behind the head. And then you just pull. And that is how you get a gutless smell. And headless. <laughs> That's the easy way to do it. And then you'll just discard the uh, guts and throw these guys to the side so that you can clean them later. So right now we're running a five gallon pail with clean water. It's not the cleanest right now because we've been cleaning stacks here. It's a bunch. However, we got a bit of a process going. So me and Jeremy started the piles. I'm on cleaning duty now and Kirsten and Jeremy are just finishing them up. So as you can see, we got this massive pile of heads, which is kind of gross. And we got the two piles there of the cleaned, but still dirty, schmelt body. And then that's the remainder of my pile with my big guy, my big boy, and Jeremy's is empty. So I'd say we're on the home stretch. We just got a lot of cleaning ahead of us now. Yep. A lot of washing. So we're gonna get all these guys washed up, and then we're gonna get the oil heating up, and we are going to have some delicious smelts for dinner. Cause oh, it's yeah. now five o'clock. <laughs> About an hour and a half later, we're done. <laughs> Gotta love it. What do you think about it? 
I want to try them. You want to try them? Yeah. Yeah, they're good. They're really delicious. Me and Jeremy were very like, what's the word? We were like unsure. Yeah, we were pretty nervous actually the first time because we were looking <laughs> at them and they were super cold and slimy. <laughs> And we're looking at these things, we're like, there's no way this is going to be good. Like, this is going to be gross. They sat over a night. Yeah. We were like, these and things have like, got to be disgusting. It's going to be gross. But uh, we're like, here goes. Cheers to it. And uh, we threw them back, and they were delicious. So, so good. Yeah. Anyways. Catch up with you guys once that oil is nice and hot. All right, so... Here is the secret spices. We got a Cajun injection frying blend, soybean and peanut oil mix. We got the pulverized sweet chili heat Doritos. Got a little bit of panko, and then we've got it mixed with rice flour. And as you can see here, that's the final product, and it looks and smells delish. So we're just heating this oil up. The way you can tell if the oil is hot is just put a little bit of breadcrumbs in there and if they start to sizzle it is hot enough so we'll give her a test so the oil is just a little bit off so we're also just going to do a little egg wash beforehand so we got the two eggs here we're going to crack those up and uh, scramble them and then we're going to put the fish into the egg wash and then into the batter after and that's how you get that nice crispy coating and our oil looks like it's just about ready. Check those puppies out. There's some cooked ones. For you. What do you think? Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Worth a lot of, a lot of work. Jeremy. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. I think that Cajun oil is really nice too. I know I want more. Yeah, I know. That's the problem with these things. Like you literally eat them all and you're like, what's the rest? This stupid outlet keeps catching on fire. I don't want the oil to catch on fire. That would not be good. That would be very nice. Good stuff. Worth the work. Even though you didn't catch any. She was there the one day. She was there scouting. She was scouting with us for sure. <laughs> Check these bad boys out. Don't mind the fire. It'll be okay. Alrighty guys. So, I gotta head out. I'm gonna go watch a play that my cousins are in. The last of them are cooking it up. We're just we're just cleaning everything up and I think we're gonna head out again tonight, so we might do a little bit more filming. We'll have to wait and see. Hope you guys charged up. Yeah yeah. Get everything all charged up and whatnot. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys haven't followed me already, uh, check me out on Instagram at underscore fishing the north. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out Jeremy's channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.